What's up, YouTube, and welcome to Codename Scream. I am that horror guy. And I'm Mel. And make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications for all things horror. And we are doing somewhat new horror. Kind of, sort of. Yeah. Ish. Ish. <laughs> and it's still sci-fi. Ish. Ish. <laughs> but it's definitely funny. Yeah. <laughs> what are we doing today? PG. Psycho Gorman. Yes. I've been wanting to watch this for the longest time. I'm finally yeah. glad I have a reason. Uh, it was released October 7th, 2020, written and directed by Steven Konstansky. I got it. I'm good. <laughs> Produced by Stuart F. Andrews, Shannon Hammer, 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 and Steven Konstansky. I got through it. It's fine. You made it. <laughs> um, so we don't have box office for this, technically. We do have an estimated budget yeah. of $670,000. How? Which is nothing. Yeah. The, Killer Clowns was what? 1.8 1. 1. 8 million? million. And I could have shot a better... Oh, I shoot a better video right now. Yeah. <laughs> With my production and all. Like, oh boy. Yeah, $670,000. No box office though. We'd seen some numbers floating around. I do think that has to do with the uh, fact that this was on demand um, before yeah. it became an exclusive to Shudder and whatnot. Shudder. Shudder. You know, you know what to do here. Um, but, uh, I do believe that's from the, uh, video on demand revenue. I'm not going to count that because realistically, I've not seen anything that says otherwise. If you were on the production for this or know someone that was, or just want to school us, go for it. If in, you are Psycho comments. Gorman. If you're Psycho let Gorman, us know. let us know. Um, but yeah, so we'll just talk about this real quick because I just really have been waiting to talk about this with you. Um... Before we go into that, though, what did the critics in the audience think? Um, another one that shocked me that I did not expect. It has a critic score of 91%. Okay, these critics are turning against us. It, I, that was another <laughs> one that I looked at and I was like, really? <laughs> uh, audience, 62%. So it's quite a divide. And it's usually, I thought it would be flipped. Uh, the way around, yeah. yeah Especially totally. with how much hype this movie's had. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'd seen more about this movie in all of my socials. Oh, yeah. Before I even knew what the movie was. Yeah. And then it came out on Shutter. Yeah. So, um, yeah, real quick synopsis on this. Uh, we've got a brother and a sister that are playing a really just rambunctious game called Crazy Ball. <laughs> um, and it's crazy. <laughs> and uh, they end up finding, uh, as he's digging his own grave because he lost, because that's the, uh, the loser buries themselves weird again um they're digging around and they find a glowing gem in the ground and then uh pull it up and uh we get uh a creature from god knows where <laughs> In know. interstellar intergalactic <laughs> feller <laughs> i like that interstellar name. feller interstellar <laughs> interstellar galactic feller I, I, I came up with a whole new thing. And he offs a whole group of people in the process. Turns out that this gem, um, whomever holds it, uh, controls him and his godlike powers. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mimi, the little girl, has control of this, uses this to her advantage through the whole film. Meanwhile, there is another interstellar galactic feller group. Uh, <laughs> and uh, they are the opposing side, and they send down uh, Pandora, one of their own, uh, dressed as a human to try and uh, take out PG here. Mm -hmm. And he is named from the little girl because he doesn't have a name. Right. <laughs> the Archduke of Nightmares <laughs> um, was what he went by prior to that. Um, and we do end up getting a full on fight between uh, the opposing sides, Pandora and PG. Um, I'm not gonna tell you the ending though. No. I, I almost came, I came so <laughs> close to telling the ending. I'm not going to because it's a Shutter exclusive. And we know what we do here with Shudder. I want you guys to check this out. Um, it's great. Yeah. Um, I'm getting too far ahead of myself you again. You very much are. But let's, like, let's go ahead and talk about some fun facts real quick. Yeah, I only got a few. <laughs> uh, the PG makeup took so long to apply that the actor that played him, uh, he was often first on set, last one to leave. And the uh, crew didn't recognize him without his makeup. So <laughs> he got security called on him constantly because they thought he was just some <laughs> dude on the set. And it was Psycho Gorman himself. I thought that was hilarious. Well, oh, that's too funny. <laughs> um, the uh, woman who played Pandora, uh, she also played Alistair's mother. Oh, that's so awesome. So she played two different people. You don't want to try her name? Kristen Mc... 
colic. See, you did better with that one. Was fine, but see, I was gonna pause. <laughs> and I just figured I'd just blow right through it. It's called professionalism. Yeah, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> um, all the scenes with the kids were shot first. Um, then they shot the scenes uh, with adults as stand-ins for the children. All righty, that's awesome. So we've seen this in other movies. This fact, it's just hilarious. We saw it in uh, They Live, very similar situation. Uh, the backyard scenes were shot in an actual backyard of executive pro producer Jesse Christensen's house. That's awesome. So it's like They Live, what was it, the fight scenes? Were the fight like scenes were in Carpenter's uh, office, office bit, like yard. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's funny. That's but that's, that's how you get a uh, $670,000 budget and make an awesome movie. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you cut corners. You cut some big corners. So, uh, what do you think? I think I may or may not have slipped up a couple times yeah. there in the beginning. Uh, yeah, this lived up to the hype. Totally. Um, there's a lot of times where I feel like movies are way overhyped. Oh, yeah. For what they're worth. Especially um, in the horror genre. Especially, yeah. Especially in this one. Because some of the worst ones people will say are great. Yeah. And some of the best ones people will say are terrible. Like that one dude that's probably watching this that said Bones was great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not going to forget that one anytime no. soon. But, um, no, this movie was amazing. It didn't even feel like a horror movie, though. No. This felt like if you were to take a Power Rangers movie. You stole what I was going to say! <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. It's like the villains in yeah. every Power Rangers thing this is what, This is what Lord Zed should have been. Yes, Right here. Exactly. Like, just this ass-kicking, just... Dude, yes. it, oh my god, it was so good. And the gore that was in it, I mean, gore man in the title yep. lives up to the title. Just oh, yeah. bloody mess, mm -hmm. awesome. I loved the casting they picked for yep. it. The kid actors were phenomenal. That little girl was <laughs> Mimi hilarious. Mimi is hilarious. Oh man, too funny. And I just love just like, it tries so hard to be serious mm -hmm. so many times and just immediately the, com the comedy takes yep. over for it. Uh, it's definitely something i've needed in a while yeah as far as you know we, we watch a lot of movies here and to get like this good of like a laugh going yeah in what should have been a horror movie it was great yeah. i can't complain so what did you think um exactly the same thing um i could just say ditto and be done with it but i will <laughs> try to be you know a little less uh patrick swayze about it yeah um i the Power Rangers thing, like, the second we meet, especially, well, I, I noticed it with Psycho Gorman, but the second we meet Pandora, yes. I'm like, this is, like, Power Rangers level stuff right here. Um, the gore, that, that's what surprised me, because I just expected it to be, like, a goofy movie. Yep. And then the gore happens, and I'm like, this is sweet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that little girl is, like, literally my favorite kid actor in so long because she just you wouldn't know that she was acting you yeah think this is just some snarky little girl uh yeah it felt very natural for yeah. her and it's like if i feel like if any other actor would have read those lines it would have seemed so like calculated and like fake because kids don't say stuff like that no it would have been and, very forced if anyone else had done it but it just the casting was so good because it felt so authentic and it was just i there's not a thing i disliked about this movie no and it, for me it was the uh, child acting was at par with like the recent it movies yeah. mm -hmm. and like stranger things yep. like definitely fantastic casting with those as well and i also liked uh, another power rangers like thing remember in the crazy ball in the beginning mm -hmm. they had that random metal song playing yep. it was all that tapping yeah and i was like oh man <laughs> did we redo the, the power rangers theme again <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it's just, it's so fun. Oh, yeah. And, you know, we talked about this in Killer Clowns, and it's kind of like the same level of cheese, just modern day. Yes. With better writing. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And it's... Way less budget, too. Yeah, and way less budget, which makes no <laughs> sense, because this was, like, clearly the superior oh, yeah. of the two. But, yeah, the storyline was great, as ridiculous as it was. And it's just, like, I can't believe any actor agreed to do this movie after reading that script. Oh, and yeah. Like, yeah, this is fine. <laughs> <laughs> but it turned out perfect. I loved this movie. Again, it's just the comic relief in it is just so on point. Oh, yeah. And it's, like, the second it got to be a little too serious, they just hit you with something, like, so hilarious. Every time, too. 
And there is a podcast that I listen to, um, Bloody Disgusting's The Boo Crew podcast. You can go back and find the one about this, and I highly recommend that you do because they talk about everything from the rules to crazy ball to <laughs> like the kids in the movie it's just it's a great podcast that, so yeah they're that. awesome i'm gonna drop a link in here for you guys for yeah. that episode as well um that is a fantastic podcast yes. we're, we're podcast at nerds mm -hmm. so um but if you have seen it let's talk about it a little more sound off here in the comments below uh message us on facebook instagram twitter or email us do not put any spoilers in if you can. Try to avoid those as much as possible. Still fairly new. Still so fairly new. And for those of you that haven't seen it, the link's down there. To Shutter, you know what to do here. It's right here for you guys. Hit them up. We... And it's right here. And it's right here now. Look, it's everywhere. I'm just making editing difficult. It's fun. <laughs> oh, we're just making editing fun for me is all it is. <laughs> um, yep, a couple more left in our sci-fi uh, horror. We're actually going to remove the comedy side for the next couple mm -hmm. ones, um, too, that I'm very excited for. We're not going to say anything. Not even to the patrons. Sorry, guys. Anything. Anything at all. Nothing. <laughs> It'll be quite the event. <laughs> so uh, with that being said, scare you later, YouTube.